Hey everyone, Mike here with the watch this video for Friday, April 26th. The SPY gapped down today, but had a big day, actually had a big run. Um, there are several earnings today after hours. I'm just going to mention them to you guys. Uh, Microsoft is up. Intel is down. Google's way up. Snap is way up. Um, Skechers is up. So, I mean, a lot of big names and most of them are up. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but impressive rebound after the gap down. Um, I already made a video about the WISA calls and trade in chat, but I'm going to uh, kind of revamp it or redo it real quick just for you guys that uh, maybe don't follow me on Stock Twitter or Twitter. Um, I know you're in the chat room, right? So um, I went back into the search for WISA and, and saw three different people pointed out within a minute of each other. I love the, love the teamwork, right? Three different people pointed out that it topped at 650. You know we love half number, whole number, and flexion points, and we already had it on watch anyway, so I love the fact that we're all working together like that. Um, and then right before it actually triggered, um, this was later in the morning, uh, Kona gave the heads up, hey, over 650, interesting. So that's at least, at least four people kind of intimating that uh, the 650 break, and let's go to five minute candles, um, which was right over this. See this kind of, there's the opening candle and the flag. And I got on the mic and said, and yesterday's high is 680, only 30 cents above. So there's the 650 break right where my cursor is. And really right within five to 10 minutes, went to 735, an 85 cent move on a 650 entry is a great day trade. Um, and it just, I can't, I can't, can't tip my head enough to you all, the teamwork um, attitude that's in the chat room. Late in the day, although the post wasn't that late in the day, VKTX Allen H at 1151 today said, hey, VKTX nibble over 68, add over 69 after lunch though. And that's exactly what happened. There's the 68 break late in the day. He posted it, you know, somewhere around here. And look how, look how clean that set up. 68 break. Um, and it ran to whatever it was, 60, what's the high there? 68, 90. So 91 cent move in about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and really never even looked back over his shoulder. So that was even a, a neat late day trade and a great post by Alan H. He does that a lot. Um, let me put up my, my whatever you call it, my Duma Squatchy. And there it is. This is for the several new faces we're seeing in the chat room. Um, so that's for you guys. If you're brand new, I guarantee you've never been in a chat room like this because it's just different, right? Um, so make sure you understand what it is we do in there and what we're all about. So if you um, pause the video, you can read that because it's going to disappear right now. All right. Um, so what are the stocks that we'll be watching tomorrow? You know what? I think I'm going to put VKTX on there too. It's not on my list, but I'm going to add it right now. VKTX potential long tomorrow. Um, I like the fact that it held support um, and had a nice pop today. I think it had like an upgrade and a price target upgrade and all that. So I'll just start with that one. That one's going to be on watch tomorrow. A-I-R-E, I, -E. I got to zoom in on this one so you can kind of see. There's the big pop yesterday, then the gap up today, and a sell-off. So really, who's winning? Long shorts, I don't know. It's kind of in the middle um, between the two days. I am going to put it back on uh, long watch for tomorrow. Gave no setups at all today. PCSA, nice volume and uh, closed about where it opened, but um, it could have a follow-through day tomorrow, so we're going to watch it. Uh, M-U-X, I believe is a metal miner, right? Um, gold, silver, and some other stuff too, maybe. And a nice pop today, and it has another, uh, let's see, today's high. Um, for some reason, my, let's try that again. All right, so today's high was 12.08, and then we have this 12.23 recent high. So potential stat catalyst move tomorrow with a proper intraday setup. Um, R-I-L-Y has a very weird two-day chart. It had the gap up, sold off, and then today worked its way all the way back up to exactly yesterday's high and a whole number 35. 35 today, 35 yesterday. Um, certainly worth keeping an eye on tomorrow. Could have some shorts caught. Um, C-Z-O-O. -O. Just uh, a recent high flyer. I had this big two-day move. Kind of a quiet, lower volume red day today. I'm just putting it right back on watch for tomorrow. BKTX, already talked about. TAL, possible, nice nice pop today, possible follow through tomorrow. NEM is a uh, gold miner, nice breakout today. Maybe a follow through day tomorrow. ZURA is kind of a sleeper pick. Um, it's kind of flagging here after a nice pop. So I, you know, I'm not in love with it. I just want to, I try to have it like one sleeper pick on the list every now and then. CARR, 
Um, a big pop still has potential catalysts above. And then Dawn is my last one. It's a weird chart. The only bounce play I have on watch, it had this nice pop two days ago and then straight off a cliff for two days. So just looking for a snapback bounce here. I don't love this because there's a lot of people that got involved on this day that are, are underwater, but this still could have a snapback bounce tomorrow. So that's the only bounce play. I don't think I had any bounce plays on watch today, which will show you the strength of the market, right? Let me put SPY back up. So yeah, when you have a couple big days in the SPY um, after the sell-off, we had a whole bunch of bounce plays on watch, but then we had a couple day bounce. It just doesn't yield a lot of bounce play setups because I need at least like three days in a row down. Um, so right now we're focusing on the recent high flyers. All right, um, that's it. We'll add gappers together in the pre-market like we always do. Love the teamwork today. I'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a good night.